Insert an image into the body of an email. Inserting an image into the body of an email is known as an inline or embedded image. This means that the image appears within the content of the email like this, not as a separate attachment like this as we saw earlier. There are two ways to add an image like this. The first is to have an image tag with an absolute address of an image file. In other words, an address that includes the web server address too. However, as we'll see in an example in a moment, most email clients block images included like this as they can be used to track who opens the email. So if you do include an image in this way, it's likely that the recipient won't see it. One notable exception is Gmail, who cache inline images so they are displayed. But unless you can be sure all your recipients are using Gmail, it's not a reliable way to include images. The other way to display an embedded image is to attach the image file to the email and display it using a special URL in the HTML. PHP Mailer makes this very easy. First, using the add embedded image method, you attach a local file to the email, give it a content ID, then embed the image in the HTML with the same content ID like this. So let's have a look at these two methods in action. So here in the body of the message, first I've added a reference to an external image. Then I've added an embedded image with a content ID of banana. Then down here, I'm adding the embedded image, which is a file in the same folder here. And it has the same content ID. So let's see what this looks like. First, we'll send it by running the script in the browser like that. And then let's have a look at the message we've received. And there it is. So the first image isn't displayed by default, although you can change your preferences in some email clients to allow it to be shown. The second image is, however, without having to change anything. So if you want to include images in the body of an email, using the second embedded image technique is the more reliable option.